This video, I analyze Dream's latest 5 Hunters finale manhunt. We discuss various statistics, Dream's updated win slash loss record, and each of Dream's big brain plays. Let's just get straight into it. Straight up, some of you with a keen eye may have noticed this, but this manhunt is significantly different to any other manhunt Dream has produced. This all came down to the way Dream edited the manhunt. From the get-go, you will notice this is the shortest manhunt of all time, as it was only 31 minutes long. Throughout the manhunt, Dream used a lot, and I mean a lot of cuts. This is because Dream's main goal with this video was to really put emphasis on the intense moments. You will notice there is little to no scenes of them all laughing and having banned whether this is a good change is entirely up to you, but I have a feeling this will be the new method Dream uses to edit his manhunts in the future. Now it's time for some fun statistics. First of all, Dream's new win slash loss record. As we all know, Dream won the 5 Hunters finale, which updates his win slash loss record to 9 wins and 5 losses. This is extremely impressive as this just continues to show Dream's dominance in these manhunts. Also, for future reference, this win slash loss record is from the Two Hunters video all the way to present day, just to fix any confusion. Now, it is time to discuss Dream's total kill count in this manhunt. We will go from low to high, starting with Awesome Dude, who was only killed once. George and Sapnap were both killed twice, with Bad having three deaths. And in first place was Antfrost, with four deaths at the hands of Dream. You may think this makes Ant look bad, but it actually shows heart, as he was extremely aggressive in this manhunt. Now, let's go over the events of the manhunt. First of all, they spawn in the plains biome as Dream runs directly towards a village. After grabbing a hay bale, Dream gets insane loot in a chest. Whilst on the run, he quickly crosses a shear, which is a really smart tactic early game. This is because you can acquire stacks of leaves extremely quickly, which can be used to out parkour the hunters. However, Dream and the hunters all run out of hunger as the slowest chase in history began. Dream then notices an opportunity to build up and escape the hunters, so he takes it. After healing up using the hay bale, he starts looking for water to jump into, but the hunters counter this by covering all available water holes using blocks. However, Dream notices one water hole and jumps for it, but Sapnap using his big brain quickly bone mills a sapling, which should have killed Dream immediately, although this is Dream we are talking about. So with quick thinking, he switches to his shear and manages to break through the tree safely. After attempting this play myself, I can confirm it is extremely difficult. So mad props to Dream. Anyways, Dream eventually ends up in a cave, but this isn't just any cave. This is the 1.18 cave generation. Now, I'm not entirely sure how Dream ended up using this, as 1.18 isn't out yet. I've seen people saying he used a 1.18 snapshot, and others saying he used a data pack in 1.17, but nonetheless, it seems 1.18 has arrived for Manhunt, which is honestly so cool. It will be interesting to see how this affects Manhunt going forward. Well, we don't have to look very far, as Dream actually used a new 1.17 tactic in his next play. After obtaining moss blocks from a shipwreck, Dream heads back down as he builds a nether portal. Before entering, Dream decides to give both the hunters and viewers a little surprise. Dream places down four moss blocks surrounded by deep slate. Eventually, the hunters appear as they attack Dream. Secretly though, Dream lures them towards his trap as he uses bone meal on the moss and and then uses a hoe to destroy it. The hunters all die due to both lava and melee damage. This play is a lot more simple than it looks. Moss is a block that if bone mill is used on, can literally spread to not all, but some blocks, which is what Dream did. Luckily, the hoe eats moss extremely quickly, which is also what Dream did. And finally, the lava was hidden underneath, which caused absolute chaos. This is another trap that we can add to Dream's list of big brain plays. Soon after, Dream enters the nether as he almost dies to full damage. After obtaining blaze rods and ender pearls in order to actually beat the game, the hunters will enter the fortress as Dream begins to retreat. However, the hunters locate Dream as another chase ensues. After big braining ants, Dream continues to show his top tier parkour as he pulls off insane plays. After a little while, Sapnap caught up to Dream as they both commence a 1v1. In shocking fashion, Sapnap actually ends up destroying Dream in the fight. After living on half a heart, Dream decides to retreat. Soon after though, Dream is forced to make a decision. Face Sapnap with half a heart 
or build over a lava lake. Of course, Dream chooses the safest option as he begins staircase bridging with Sapnap tailing him. With one big leap, Dream boat clutches as he escapes Sapnap in beautiful fashion. Come on, oh come on. My God. Come on. What oh my it? goodness. Dream. Oh, oh my God. God. Not long after this, Dream makes his way back to the portal, but the hunters acclaim the land as their own. Dream realizes he can't make it to the portal safely, so he decides to set up his next big brain play. Dream pales down to a little island as he begins acquiring lava buckets. After drinking a fire rose potion, Dream heads back to the portal. He soon builds above the portal and places buckets of lava, stopping the hunters from entering the portal. Due to the fire rose potion, Dream takes no damage as he makes his way to the overworld safely. Funnily enough, this play has been used before in the Free Hunters finale. Some of you may remember this, but the Hunters lava trapped the portal, which almost killed Dream multiple times. We need... Oh, oh fudge! God. This is the end. Hurry right, guys, come on. Oh, ho, 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 my God! God. This annoyed Dream so much that he has wanted to get revenge for well over a year now. Finally, he does this in the Five Hunters finale, which is honestly hilarious. It is now time for the final chapter as Dream travels towards the Stronghold. After locating the Stronghold, Dream decides to pull off something entirely unexpected. Dream manages to build the Enderpearl Stasis Chamber. This is used as a method to quickly escape dangerous situations in Minecraft. The way you build this is quite simple. You mine eight blocks down, place one block of soul sand at the bottom, place a bucket of water on the remaining seven blocks. When at the surface, place a daylight detector like this alongside a trap door. Now, safely shoot the ender pearl down the hole, and then when the sun begins to set, the trap door will trigger. Dream uses this exact method in his manhunt as he escapes the hunters. Not only did Dream survive the hunters' attack, but he also forced them to run hundreds of blocks away from the stronghold. This gave Dream plenty of time to set up his final play of the manhunt. As Dream enters the end, he builds up extremely high, which honestly confused me at first. I originally thought Dream would kill the dragon with TNT when it perches, but he did something completely unexpected. If you place obsidian directly above the perch area with water falling directly below it, the dragon will get confused when it begins perching as it slowly makes its way to the top of the obsidian. This means all that Dream has to do is kill the dragon with arrows if the plan works successfully. However, the hunters decide to make it hard for Dream as Awesome Dude shouts out how Dream is about to insta-kill the dragon. Awesome Dude knows the ins and outs of Minecraft, so I'm not surprised he knows about this mechanic. With everyone panicking, they swim up the water to knock Dream off his tower. Sapdap almost succeeds, but Dream manages to knock him off. After shooting Ant Frost, Dream begins killing the dragon with a bow. With little hope left for the hunters, Dream successfully kills the dragon. When Dream uploads the Five Hunters finale rematch, I'll hopefully be seeing you all again. Anyways, I'm heading out. Peace.